What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I told you I was going to go after this combine right so here. We got to get some. Well, I got to look over a few things. So I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to hook it up right here. Right here. And I'm throwing it in gear. I need to check the feed accelerator. I need to check. Make sure the drag. Well, we know about the drag chains because uh, those going to have to be replaced. I'm not going to replace it right now. I'm going to wait until I finish cutting that wheat over there. I'm not going to cut the wheat today because it looks like to me it's not quite ready. So I'm me. just going to wait on that. Uh, I'm just going to throw it in gear and check the feed accelerator. This right here, this leak right here, I got to get that fixed. That dump right there, it's leaking. Uh, I don't necessarily have, I can do it myself. I don't necessarily have time to fool with it, but yeah, I'm going to send it to uh, John Deere, Tennessee Tractor Uptown in Alamo. If I'm going to send it to them to get that, that, uh, uh, this fear hand. See, my fear hand doesn't work. It doesn't work in there. So I like for it to work because I don't want to be going through the field or, uh, Whoever's driving it, I don't want them going through the field and then just cuts off in the middle of the field. And and the whole time it was out of fear. I, I don't have time for that. I need to get this up, raise up. This right here comes up automatically because there's my switch right there. And my tail housing will come up, will fold up. So the reason why I need to do that is because I need to get that screen out of there. The top screen because it needs a top screen. I want to change all my filters. That's the reason why it's going to Tennessee Tractor. I wanted to change all the filters and give it a good oil change. Even though, like I said, I can do that myself, but I don't have time because, you know, since now I'm driving trucks, I'm hauling now, so I need to get that out the way. And plus, you know, I want to make I want to make a good impression on it. Look at these beans on the ground that I wasted. Now they coming up. See them on the ground coming up. Crazy. So, um, well, give me one second. Cause I had I had got a phone call this morning. And oh yeah. And I also need to put some, I'm gonna put some new sections in here. That's gonna require help. I don't think I can do that by myself. Now, on the 2388, that 25 foot I had, I put them sections in by myself. Don't ask how I did it. It was it was luck. So, let me go back over here. Let me finish. Uh, I got some paperwork I need to do. And, uh, yeah. Well, he all ain't ringing. Yeah, I got some paperwork I need to do. Uh, I need to send this off. I need to make sure all my my dollar signs is correct before I send it off. So I need to finish this paperwork. And as soon as I get done with that, and then we're gonna go back to vlogging. We're gonna go back to dealing with this combine, like I was like I was telling y'all. So all right, uh, after I get done with the combine, then uh, I probably gonna hook the eighty one, the eighty one up. And grab the bush hog, cause and these clipping out here. I'm like, boy, it's I don't understand it, man. It just needs clipping. I usually don't let stuff like that get away from me like that, but and then on top of that, I still gotta do the 86. Now, uh, some of the parts came in for the 86, uh my cab kit. I don't like I said, I don't have everything yet. Uh so when I get those parts in and then that's why i'm gonna start the vlog on the 86 86 30. and then uh after that i'm looking probably about i'm just gonna be honest with you i'm looking probably about uh mid july or august before i even start getting some tires for the 86 and uh yeah, yeah, it's, it needs some new tires on it. But, but like I said, uh, you know, I'm trying to fix it up and I'm planning on keeping that tractor around for a long time. 
And uh, if I or if I choose to trade the 81 and the 86 to death and together and get one big R, I mean, nah, I just stick with these old tractors, man. This, this, they doing better than what these new newer model tractors are doing. One running computer, you got to run the John Deere for it, and you got to call John Deere just to erase one code. But the 46 and the 86, I ain't got to erase no code. It can keep going. It's just like, if y'all, I'm going to put it in the mind like it's like a, a Ford versus Chevrolet. I'm talking old model vehicles now. Now, you picture like a 88 through a 98 model Chevrolet truck. Versus an 88 through a 98 model full truck. Okay. We all know who got the win right there. Who Who's going to outlast who? Of course, Chevrolet. I mean, so it, that's that's why I'm saying your old school is never going to be better than your new school. You know. Or, no, I'm saying it wrong. Your new school is never going to be better than old school. There you go. Yeah. So let me get done with this. Let me do this paperwork right here, and then I'm going to get right back with you. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on this combine. All right. I'm almost done, y'all. I'll just give me a minute. One hour later. All right, y'all. Looks like I ain't gonna be able to deal with the combine right now. So I'm out spraying. Looks like everybody's out of pocket. So I'm gonna have to do everything myself. So let me get set up with the blog. That way, I'm just gonna blow with the spray up. Thing. 
that's the thing. I know a lot of y'all got places to put y'all flower cameras, and I don't. I'm here with the DJ. I got the DJI in my hand. So, I'm trying to figure out how to place this. I don't know where to place it, but uh, let me find out. Let me let me figure it out. All right, I'm back going in again. Everybody's spraying.
not the best. But she a spray. Maybe one day I'll get one of the most John Deere sprayers, you know. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the backfield. going to get some water so I'm just gonna sit and wait on him and try to blow out two more and then that's gonna be it that, I hope that I'll be done back here so let's go Oh uh, yeah, I'm back at the shop. I got tired of holding the vlog. I, I ain't got nowhere to hold the camera and the cab. I just, I, I just, but anyway, I got probably about one more round, and I'm out of chemical. So I'm gonna get some more chemical tomorrow, and I'm gonna finish that, and then I'm gonna go to bail, finish that. So we ain't gonna be able to mess with this tomorrow. Bad as I want to. Uh, I'm going to get you, baby. I'm going to get you. Uh, got to get my combine going, man. Plus, I got to get that fixed. I got to get another one of them. Because when I bought it, uh, when me and my brother bought it, we went in together. And we, when I bought it, uh, I ran it just like that. Uh, I That's how bad I needed to get my get the crop out so i'm gonna go ahead and finish finish spraying and then i'm gonna have to come back to this another day i mean then tomorrow i'm gonna have to hook this 81 up to this bush hog i gotta get that wing down because i don't like that um we are talking about that 4230 I believe this is going to be his last year it's here. Uh, because it, the simple fact is just sitting there and it's not doing anything. Oh, uh, since while I'm on the vlog right now, uh, Mr. Russ, if you watching the channel right now, Thomas Fawn, if you watching the channel, uh, YouTube, we was just, me and Mr. Russ, we was talking about a seed tender. And he got one that I like. But it's like, we have the exact same one, which is right here. But see, the thing is, I don't have an auger on mine. And I know y'all looking at that combine. <laughs> Once again, it belongs to another farmer. He just ain't came and got it yet. It's supposed to go to another county in Jackson, Tennessee. And a lot of people on my end know what I'm talking about, how far Alamo and Jackson is. So, so he wanted to park it here. He bought it and he wanted to park it here and get it here and get it to his place another day. So, so y'all be sure to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. And if you haven't, do so. And we'll get back with you tomorrow on another vlog. So peace. I'm out of here. So good job, y'all.